So yeah, so do not forget that phrase and broad are totally fine, totally acceptable. I use them, you use them, everyone uses them, but we have to treat them, put them in a different bucket than we do exact. So phrase and broad are as research driven as an auto campaign was in the sense of we're going to show up for things other than what we expect. It's a research-based thing. So what I often do is I'll actually break out phrase and broad into their own ad groups. And that's one strategy that you can do. And the reason I do that is just to know that these are research-based. I'm showing up for lots of different things. I'd, I'd even venture as far to say that uh, if you're a newer seller that you shouldn't even really worry too much about having manual and really worry too much about having manual brought the most vital things to start off with are that auto campaign and then peeling out your winners into the manual campaign. If your goal is to get, uh, you know, to the, a low a cost and have a campaign full of winners that have historical data behind them, then that's what I would suggest. Uh, when would you suggest really using broad and phrase Mike? So if you have a term that converts and you throw it in as an exact match in that exact match winner circle, you can then, if you're comfortable with that, then I create another ad group where I throw them in as a phrase in broad just for additional research. Uh, and this just helps me cast my net a little bit wider, uh, helps me control where that net is going because now I'm going to show up for synonyms and related words to that exact match winner uh, as I drop them in as phrase in broad as well. So I would say do it after you get comfortable with the research in the auto, peel out the winning terms and winning ASINs, stick those into a manual exact match winner circle ad group and then a product targeting winners ad group and then block them from appearing in the auto campaign.